Should we, should we catch him? I probably could, right? All right. I'm coming for you, man. You and your little Kia, coming for you. Hey, what's up, Duff here? I'm outside with the Sherman. Can you see the uh, daytime running light? My new light that I installed? It's quite bright outside right now and you should be able to see this just fine. We're doing a quick test here, a quick ride. I'm gonna test these two seats that uh, Shield 400, otherwise known as Joe, sent to me. We're gonna see uh, how they work for me. So what we're gonna do is ride over to the area where I did the speed test, just right over there, give you a chance to see how the, uh, the daytime running light looks too. You also notice that the, um, I, I have a full set of Exo armor on the Sherman. I have the, uh, the high pipe sides on, I have the um, protectors that go by the pedal hangers on, and I have the corner pieces on as well. Those will be Velcro attached. I'm going to be sending a uh, set up to Mickey to, to test. Uh, I'm sending some to a gentleman in Canada to test as well. So hopefully we'll get some feedback soon. We'll get some, boy it's windy. We'll get some feedback as far as uh, how it works out for people. You know, I don't do a lot of riding on the Sherman that's going to put my, uh, my roll cage at risk. But there's a lot of people that do. So if this does a good job of uh, protecting that cage, hey, that would be cool, right? Okay, we'll see. Um, that gets you a decent angle to see what the daytime headlight looks like. We're riding right, right into the sun right now. And even though I can't see what you're seeing, I am pretty sure, boy, it's windy. Pretty sure that you can see that headlight uh, quite well. Very visible. So when Joe sent me that light, he had already done some additional legwork that you have to do if you get this light. I have, uh, in the video that I talked about the light, I have the link to AliExpress where you buy the bare light itself. The wires, <coughs> they're bare wires. To get it to go with the Sherman, you need to put a um, microphone style 3.5 millimeter connector on there to make it work with the Sherman. He had already done that. Um, I, I have the parts listed for that as well. He also gave me instructions as far as how he connected it. It's not hard. I mean, you got to just basically solder the ends on onto the wire, and uh, and and you have have to do a better job of mounting it than I did. So although it be, the final product looks okay, it definitely is not an ideal installation. I'm sure people will come up with better ways to uh, make that happen. But I'm happy with the end result. I think it looks good. Okay, so I want to get down to a side street here. I want to test these seats. I mean, really. Each one should feel the same. You know, I have the dog bone seat here, which gives you access to the uh, control panel. That's the advantage of the dog bone seat. I guess the disadvantage is it's probably not as uh, strong because of a thinner, a thinner center. But as far as my ability to ride them, it should be identical because they're both gonna, uh, the, the seating level is gonna be the same with both. And that's really my biggest concern is with the way that I have that ugly seat that I've rigged for the Sherman, as ugly as it is, it works well for me because it gets, gets me up high. I don't have to sit extra low, which just is not comfortable with my long legs and my achy knees. So this, this should basically be very similar to Zoom Wheels Brian as far as the experience go, his seat. So we will find out here in a second. I'm gonna get in a side street with uh, little traffic and we'll give it a shot. Okay, we're on 39th. This is the street that I did the uh, speed test on. I hit my top speed of 43, what was it, 0.8, something like that. Let's see how the, uh, uh, the seat feels here. Joe's seat. Okay, I can see I have a similar issue as I do with the V11 configuration that I need to have my feet further up, first of all, to make this work. It's a combination of just a stiff lower body and um, old age and maybe you know giraffe like dimensions I, I don't know but I gotta have my feet up just to get my ass on the seat okay so I'm on now Whoa. 
feels okay. I mean, my, as far as the uh, riding position goes, uh, my my um, Frankenstein seat feels better just because I'm higher. But I mean, I could do this. The difference with my with my seat is I don't really have to move my feet further in the pedals. And moving my feet further in the pedals uh, means when I stand up, I don't have the uh, the amount of uh, control that I normally would. I usually have to stop and readjust because with my feet this far forward, it's not that easy to uh, slow down. So, but I mean, this is doable. I can definitely do it. But I have a feeling that I probably will wind up, um, you know, giving at least one of these seats away on a stream or something to someone. Because to be quite honest, I think I will probably stick with my seat just because it'll be more practical for me. But this seat feels just fine. It would be just fine for, for normal people, I'm sure. Extreme. Just not that great for uh, tall, old, gangly people like me. And I do have a, uh, a yoga block, an unused yoga block sitting at home right now. It's actually the um, yoga block from the, the horrible idea I had for the V11 seat. And where I made that really stupid looking thing that just did not work. I, I still have the block from that. So I could attach that to the top of this, but Really, the thing I like about um, attaching it to the Sherman seat is full visibility of the control panel. Um, with, this, with this dog bone seat, you get access to the buttons, but the control panel is still uh, obscured, you know, so you can't see your speed, can't see your battery. So to me, that's a, that's a negative of this design in general. I kind of like seeing that stuff. And here comes a car, and we'll slow down so he can go by. Since there's a car in front of me, too. There you go. Atta boy. Should we, should we catch him? I probably could, right? All right. I'm coming for you, man. You and your little Kia. Coming for you. I can do it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get the ride tomorrow or not. I hope so. There is a, a good chance of storms tomorrow, starting, I don't know, around midday or something like that. So I'm not 100% sure, so I figured I better get out now. There were a couple things that I was um, wanted to just mention in the last week that got my attention. Uh, one of those things, and, and, the, and a very surprising thing to me, was I heard that uh, Liam, who has been uh, the, the pretty visible marketing manager for InMotion, uh, very good tie to the EUC community. You know, he's, he's looked for a lot of feedback. He's been responsive. He's been good at communicating um, ideas and suggestions from the EUC community back to InMotion. Uh, he quit, or he, he resigned this past week. It was a big surprise to me. I had no idea that it was coming. Evidently, there are a few people that he had voice that he had intent to, to be leaving at some point. And uh, that happened this week. And I thought it was weird, the timing of it, because two hours prior to him leaving, he, he had posted a uh, poll on uh, one of the Facebook groups asking uh, what, what riders thought about the possibility of having wireless charging on an EUC. He had just posted that poll, and then two hours later was the message that said, oh, hi, I'm moving on. You know, thanks for everything. So that was uh, too bad. Very sorry to see Liam go. Really appreciate what he's done. Liam, if you're watching this, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, on the selfish side, I'm, I'm concerned that this might, this might uh, change something for me that I was excited about, and I'm not quite sure if that's going to come to fruition or not. We'll see. Due to this change, we'll see. Hopefully it does. Hopefully I can still be excited. I noticed that Marty got his EXN from Yuko this week. Another Yuko is just feeding him test wheels, man. Marty must love it. Yeah, I know there was always some frustration with uh, with test wheels because their normal route would go through New York City, and and uh, sometimes they never would emerge from there <laughs> due to the wheels getting passed around so much. Uh, a lot of them took damage, and and actually, I think the last set of wheels, the Monster Pro, the EX and the EXN, they never left New York because of uh, uh, repairs, waiting repairs on them. So um, having Yuko so close and, and so willing to give Marty 
wheels to test out has been a, a godsend for him. I'm jealous. I only saw a brief video that he did so far, and in that video he claimed that the EXN had the most torque of any wheel that he has ever ridden, which is cool. And it's not like Marty's a, uh, an acceleration monster, so. But I've heard other people say that. You know, the EXN feels great. Interesting to see what he thinks about it. Maybe he'll wind up buying an EXN as well. I know he's talking about thinning, thinning his uh, EUC army, uh, pun intended. Keep it down to 10 wheels or so. So to do that, he's gonna have to sell some more wheels. We'll see what he sells. Let's try to get you a little closer look at that light. A little closer look at the EXO armor. I think it looks cool. You know, and you can you can always get it in black. You know, if you, if you don't want it to be a visible thing, if you got it in black, you would hardly see it at all. But it would still be uh, doing its job, hopefully. That's really the test: is we want to see how well it does. Um, the, the the hard plastic PLA version is printed with 100% infill, meaning it's 100 it's it's solid plastic, so it, it's pretty strong. I, I was able to stand on a piece. I had my full weight on one uh, one of the bottom pieces and it, it supported my weight, so I think it's pretty strong. But um, I need people to test it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try to sit down again. I don't have my feet. Um, I don't have my feet shifted forward on the pedals, which means that my ass is hardly on the seat. It's more like my um, my upper. Uh, my upper hamstrings <laughs> are kind of on the wheel right now. Don't get old, guys. I have been giving more consideration to putting the off-road tire or the knobby tire on the Sherman. I don't know, what do you think? I like the road tire. I don't have any problems with it. But I really like the, uh, the knobby tire as well. So it's just a matter of if I want to uh, invest the time and frustration to do it. And there aren't very many Shermans out there with the road tire, so it's, that, that kind of makes me want to keep it as is as well. But I don't know. What do you think? Knobby or road? Enter your thoughts below. Okay, guys. It's going to wrap up the video. Short ride. Looks like I probably wound up, uh, you know, talking, talking long, even though it was a short ride. What else is new, right? If you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. Really windy. If this is your first time visiting the channel. Please consider subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you hit the notify bell over there. Um, I do have membership available on my channel now as well. Uh, members get a number of perks. You can read about them when you hit the join button below. I just did a short live stream for members uh, last night, actually. So that's another thing I'll be doing, a members only live stream from time to time. Uh, and I expect the, uh, the perks to increase. And uh, the membership's very affordable. It's either two levels, $199, $299, very affordable. And uh, if you play your cards right, you can get that you can get that money back based on spiffs and other things that you get, other things that you get as a member. So hope you guys are having a great weekend. I hope to. That's all I have for you for now. Did I ask you to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below yet? I don't know. Probably. That's it. Till next time, Duffman out. Pick off the dog bone and just snap on the conventional seat. This, I mean, this is almost identical to, to what the Zoom Wheels Brian sells, I believe. Ta da!